see the new partying scandal about Zanna? Yes, I know, I know, I know. She's always up in the fucking news, you know? And the real problem I have with Zanna is that she's not partying with me, so I don't give a fuck, you know what I mean? That is the biggest controversy in my, in my opinion. Like, she's out here partying and not with me, and that is fucked up, okay? I'll just say it. I think most people that are upset about Zana, you know, being a cat girl or Zana fucking partying are just mad that she's not partying with them. At least I can recognize that inside of myself. Finland's prime minister, Maureen Zana, is in the headlines after a video of her partying was leaked today. She has previously been criticized for attending too many music festivals and spending too much time partying instead of ruling. The critic says he's not fitting of a PM. It is pretty wild that, like, the Finnish prime minister is, like, you know, like, our age. She's, like, young. She's, like, 27, 28 or something. I don't know how old she is. Hold on. Let me look her up again. Um, the, the prime minister of Finland is 36 years old. I was wrong. Okay. Uh, but still our age. And, uh, you know, she's partying all the time. They fucking yelled at her for being uh, wearing cat ears and shit. She is disgusting. Wait, why? Unrelated, you encourage me to formally join the IWW and get uncontact with my local DSA? Okay. Your age, nerd. Okay, shut the fuck. We're not ancient like you. Uh, sorry, but uh, pretty sure a lot of you motherfuckers are 30, pl uh, 30 plus. So you can LARP as though you're like a fucking 17 year old juicer in the chat all you want. But I know at least 30% of this community, like 28% of this community is 30 plus. So suck me. Okay. Dumb bitches acting like you're fucking young. Like, what do you mean? Like in almost half this fucking community is literally 25 plus. So shut up, shut up, shut it. Anyway, it's okay, though. It's okay. We're going to make it. Um, okay, regardless. Uh, yeah, the Zana, the Zana story is, like, totally overblown. I don't know why people would give a shit about it. But I guess they do. Um, they're just fucking weirdos, uh, you know, about her. It's a huge scandal here in Finland. Yeah, it's a huge scandal in Finland because nothing happens in Finland because it's fucking Finland, dude. That's why. If the biggest scandal in your country is your 36-year-old prime minister doing normal human being shit like partying with her fucking friends, then you're barely a country. The fuck do you mean? Shut up and take advantage of your good social safety nets and keep fucking crying that you are nowhere near as interesting to... to to cover or focus on and that's it these motherfuckers literally treat their teachers like lawyers okay like they treat their teachers like lawyers they live in the worst weather conditions and yet still are like incredibly fucking health uh happy and healthy too and then they're like oh i can't believe it dude it's so funny. No, I know. I know. I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about her actual controversies, in my opinion, uh, like dumb shit that she said. But Finland operates like a, like a well-oiled machine. So when your country operates like a fucking well-oiled machine, you're not going to have fun. It's no content, have an ass country. Okay. It is a no content country. Straight up. You got a sexy ass 36 year old prime minister and even she's no content. Like, think about that. Is she partying? Like even in Italy. Okay. You look at somewhere like Italy when like Italy has a lot of content. Why? They have a lot of fascists. They have a lot of psychotic fucking politicians. 
in Italy, it's almost illegal not to be uh, not to take bribery and like do sex parties. Okay, like immediately, the first thing I think about is like Berlusconi having bunga bunga parties. You know what I mean? Having sex with like a seventeen-year-old uh, prostitute. Like that's, you know, that's horrible. It's content. You see what I'm saying? Meanwhile. You're in fucking Finland and you're like, oh, oh my God, have you seen the biggest news story? Our 36-year-old Finnish prime minister is having non-alcoholic Udul's beverages after everyone else's state-mandated bedtime. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that she didn't go to sleep at 10 p.m. like everyone else is supposed to. Okay? That's crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, it's so it's so weird that, uh, you know, the, the, the state mandatory bedtime uh, for everybody is 10 p.m. And, and she she went past it. So I guess uh, I guess they got a fucking executor now. Finns aren't Nordic. They aren't even Scandinavian. I know they're Turks. New York Times acting like the King Rob Ford didn't exist. Bro left a press conference saying he's going to go eat his wife's pussy. Yeah. Like Finnish people. I have a lot of love for you. Okay. I do. I have a Finnish flag back there somewhere. Okay. Listen. Listen. Stay out of the fucking news. Okay. Doing weird shit is our business, okay? We have a fail state. We are experiencing the end of times fail state. Also, you know who else is experiencing end of times fail state shit? The UK. You can't, on the one hand, have adequate social safety nets, okay? And an otherwise happy population on your corner of the fucking world and then be like, we have news too. Please remember us sometimes. Please remember us sometimes. Look, our super sexy prime minister, she's partying. Oh, dude, that's crazy. That's crazy. Like, you want to be, dude, you want to, bitches want to be Cardi so bad, okay? You want to be Cardi. You are not Cardi. You got fucking, you, you tried to make news happen. Off of this, uh, this lady, this 36-year-old super young prime minister, because she wore fucking cat ears, dude. Finland, not Cardi, okay? That's just how it is. The cat ears were photoshopped. Oh, that makes it so much sadder, dude. That is so... Oh, no, it wasn't even fucking real. So she didn't even wear cat ears? Did you not know the cat ears was fake? No, because I don't follow Finnish news, man. Why the fuck would I? Why would I follow what's going on in Finland? No content. The cat ears were photoshopped by Finnish Nazis because that's the worst they could think of. That's so funny. Last December, Zana Marin, Finland's 36-year-old leader, was spotted clubbing in Helsinki with friends into the early morning hours without her official phone, on which she had received a message warning her that she'd been exposed to the coronavirus. She publicly apologized after facing criticism for failing to immediately quarantine. On Thursday, Ms. Marin was facing more scrutiny in media and political circles after videos leaked to social media showing her dancing energetically, striking poses, and singing with friends at private parties. Why is that? Like, why is this fucking news? Who gives a shit? Who fucking cares, man? What the fuck? She's a human being. I don't understand. Like, are people just jealous? Because I am. At least I admit. She's hot. She's out there. She's 36 years old and she's still partying. I can't go for that long. You know what I mean? I can't be the fucking prime minister and then party at night. I can't do that. She can. I'm jealous of that. I'm jealous that she still has uh, the, the engine going, okay, at her 36-year-old uh, age. I can't do that. I'm also jealous that she's not partying with me. I'll admit that, okay? I think she's cute. I would love to party with the fucking Finnish prime minister. I think that would be fire, okay? 
My DMs are open because I follow you, Zonamarine. If you if this reaches your ear, my DMs are open, okay? I, I'm just saying I do follow you. All you need to do is follow back and you know we can make it happen. But having said that, having said that, okay, guys, I'm not simping, okay? I'm not like trying to go on a date with her or anything. She's married. I just met like, you know, party. Okay. The chatting on the videos left are facing questions about the possible presence of illegal drugs with one voice saying this gives you a great feeling, but there was no direct evidence that drugs were being used. But that's the funniest part. It's like, first of all, if you're 36 fucking years old and you're partying and there's drugs there, like, what's it to you? I mean, seriously, what the fuck is it to you? Why are you like what you're you're bent? You're bent that they're like fucking. Um, you're bent that, yeah, you know. Knut says you'd never live in Norway. Why is he saying that? Drugs are illegal in Finland and she's a PM. Wait, first of all, I'm just saying that like other motherfuckers around her might be doing drugs, but also um, I don't give a shit. But also there is no evidence that anyone was doing drugs. So you are so desperately, so pathetically and desperately trying to make some shit happen. Okay. The whole coke part was pretty much a result of 4chan like form speculating that lasted for months. Yeah. He says he pays too much in taxes. Uh, that's it? That's the reason why he thinks I wouldn't want to live in Norway? No, Norway is boring. That's probably why I wouldn't want to live there. But not because they have a fucking adequate tax system. That's so silly. I literally advocate unironically. And also live it. I live the closest to a fucking Norwegian tax structure here in the United States. I, I choose to live in California. What the fuck is he talking about? Let's look at the tax burden of a, of, of a Norwegian person, okay? Um, top marginal tax rate in Norway. What's the top marginal tax rate in Norway? <laughs> the maximum effective marginal tax rates. Okay. What is it? Is this in Norway? The effective marginal tax rate corresponds to the percentage that you must pay in tax to the next Norwegian kroner you may earn. Okay, so it says salary income excluding employers' national insurance contributions, 47.4%. Salary income excluding employers' national insurance contrib... Wait, what? Why does this say 53.9%? Pension income, 44%. Business income, 50%. Dividends and withdrawals, 49.5%. So what is the effective tax rate? Oh, for people who are taxed as pensioners, the highest effective marginal tax rate can be up to 47.8%. Literally complaining about how lazy or guaranteed a roof over their head. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Let me let me take a look. This is a repeat of the AOC dancing story. There is no effective tax rate. How much is the federal tax in the USA? You would be a business income self-employed, so 50.6%. So that's higher than uh, what it is right now here is what i what i pay right now is like basically what i pay right now basically in uh wait hold on second there's like a lot going on in my fucking dms and shit but they are basically zero corporate tax okay Top marginal tax rate, California. So the top marginal tax rate in California is 13.3%, okay? Or uh, 14%, because there's a one, I think there's, it's going to be increasing to uh, 14%, okay? The federal top marginal tax rate is top marginal. Yes is 37 percent okay it's no 14 percent. what the fuck that's nothing what do you, no that's on top of the 37 percent. you fucking weirdo 
in America, you have a federal tax rate and then you have a state tax, okay? In the United States of America, you have a federal tax rate, which is at 37% because they lowered it, okay? And then on top of that, you have a state tax rate, which is 14%. Do you understand? Okay. That's uh, 50. That would be what? Uh, 30, 40, 7, 4. That's, that's 51%. That's 51%. That's the, like, where I live and what I pay is 51% in taxes. Okay. That is my... Uh, that is what I pay in my tax bracket. That's the top marginal. That is the top marginal uh, 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 tax rate. Okay. Now, for that 51%, what the fuck do I get back? Absolutely nothing. Because a lot of that goes directly. And that doesn't mean like all of my income is divided in half. And then half of that goes to the government. That's just the top marginal tax rate. But regardless, all of that goes to military and fucking uh, domestic military, which is the police force. Most of it goes there, okay? Some of it goes to social spending, but a lot of it goes to that, okay? So, not only am I paying basically Norwegian fucking taxes, I'm not even able to get anything in return for it. And obviously, I'm not going to fucking get anything in return for it, personally, because I'm paying for everything out of pocket regardless, right? Right? Because I ha- I'm affluent enough to be able to get away with it. However, 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 I want that money to go back to social programs. I want that money to go back to adequate fu- uh, public school uh, measures. I want that to go back to adequate roads. I want that to go back to a robust public transit system. I want that to go back to socialized health care and medicine. Okay. So when people fucking say this, so when people fucking complain about taxes in America or compare it to like Norway or some shit, you're paying a high percentage in Norway, certainly, but at least you're getting something in return. In America, you're getting nothing in return. You're getting this in return. It's like a fuck you. Okay. Not sure if you talked about this at all, but the Freedom Con Convite. Now, there's also an effective tax rate, which is what I need to look at. That's what, that's what's uh, like actually important. If you have no, you know, if you have no capital, I guess. Okay. The top 1% of taxpayers uh, pay the highest effective income tax rate of 25.6%, but that's just at the federal level. So at the federal level, that bears itself out to 25.6%, okay? We're not talking about where there's additional taxes like Norway has a VAT. A lot of European countries have a VAT, which is their main funding mechanism as well which is a regressive tax is a tax on the working class is a tax on the working poor, but it's a very effective way to actually uh, adequately fund your government. Obviously uh, that is a, uh, a value added tax. We have that here in America too, to a certain degree It's a sales tax, but that uh, sales taxes is, is uh, relatively low. Very, very, very low. Okay. Like super low and it doesn't exist everywhere. It's not like a federal thing. Um, And it, and it varies. Yeah, it varies state by state. Okay. So in the U.S., what? Okay. Yeah, our sales tax is based off a of percentage. There's based off a of value of the item usually, I thought. Yeah. A lot of European countries get away with uh, lower tax burdens on the federal level for income by, uh, by using the main funding mechanism as a VAT. Okay. Either way, I'm still aware that by taking, uh, paying taxes, you help people on that need is good enough for me. Yes. So, for example, for example, one of the reasons why, despite uh, a, a uh, tax rate that uh, the tax bracket that I'm in, that basically makes it so that I am because I don't fucking shelter any of my assets or shell and 
everything I make, I make an income. And because I am, am enable and not interested in like, uh, you know, purchasing capital, and, and figuring out ways, figuring out methods of like, uh, you know, buying depreciating assets in a way to uh, offset some of my tax burden or anything like that. Because I don't do any of that. I'm paying like more than fucking most uh, Norwegian people would in the highest tax brackets. Okay. But in return, I get nothing. However, there is some, some of those taxes still... Go back to funding the roads, funding the schools, and that is still fine by me, okay? Because those, those things desperately need funding, okay? They desperately need funding. They are in dire need of funding. So I see it as a patriotic thing, paying your taxes. Tax money to the military is the most important thing. Your take is awful. Yeah, dude, I love that. Building the most important, building our military is the most important thing. Making our military bigger is the most important thing. What are you on? Yeah, dude, you're right. You're so right. It's so important. Thank God, Raytheon and and all of these other uh, all these other defense contractors are fucking directly funding their multi billion dollar industry of of melting fucking children in Yemen by with our tax dollars. It's the sickest, most important thing. You're so right. Fuck teachers. Um, fuck uh, fire departments, fuck our roads, fuck all of that, fuck commerce, you know, fuck focusing on your own self, just basically build a military state. I'm saying that, like, despite the fucking, um, despite, you know, paying Norwegian taxes, and and uh, having not a lot of that go directly into funding uh, the the most important parts that I would love, like an adequate social safety net. I still understand that the percentage that goes to the social safety net is still important. Okay, the effective tax rate for average salary in Norway is about thirty percent, not forty seven point four. That's the maximum tax bracket. Yeah. Stop paying taxes and just donate to what the government should invest in. Yeah, totally, dude. You're right. I should do that. That's the smart thing to do. The Norwegian welfare is mostly funded by oil money, not taxes, but you still correct. Oh, well, interesting that you mentioned that because I oftentimes point to the Norwegian model uh, and, and maintain the position, maintain the position that we must uh nationalize our extraction industries across the board and use all of that uh as a way to fund our social programs and a way to also um as a way to fund our social programs and as a way to uh move towards uh renewable energy anyway parents show up to a school shooting to get their kids and come armed You should probably stress a little more that you don't pay anywhere near the 50% effective tax rate. For some reason, Americans have no idea how marginal tax rates work and it hurts my brain. No, I, that's why I was trying to figure out what the effective tax rate is. Like the percentage of the percentage of your fucking income that you earn that year and what percentage of that you actually pay, which is very different than the marginal tax rate. Americans literally think if the top marginal tax rate is 90%, they think like, oh, that means they're going to take 90% of your entire money that you made that year. That's not how that works. That just means up to that dollar, that's the percentage that they're going to take. Teacher talk about Andrew Tate's influence on their students. I thought this was fake, but I've been seeing a lot more people post it, but we'll, we'll cover it in a second. The thread's been locked now. Gen X breaking the cycle is hilarious and not true. Yeah. Can we be honest about this conversation? The average Finnish taxpayer pays about 30% in tax, while the average in the U.S. is like 13%. I support the higher taxes, but you don't just get there by taxing the rich. I support the Finn model, but we should be honest. Yeah, no, I, I, ta I talk about that regularly. But ultimately, what ends up happening when you're paying 30% in fucking taxes instead of 13% in fucking taxes is that you get significantly more benefits and end up... You end up 
getting more in return, more bang for your fucking buck because the government has the capacity to make things cheaper, okay? Much cheaper than private corporations that can set prices, especially when it comes to uh, industries with an inelastic demand, like healthcare, okay? But people do not have the capacity to understand healthcare premiums as an additional tax that they have to fucking pay. They just see that as something you have to consume uh, and, and something that you're paying uh, into. They don't see that as an additional tax. They can't comprehend a world in which, like, they can't comprehend a world. What the fuck? I don't pay 30%. Who's paying 30% in America? No, he's talking about he's talking about the effective tax rate for the average worker. But I don't even think that it's 13%. I think it's still higher. I think that chatter was just like, uh, uh, really uh, lowballing it, but it is certainly lower than the middle class. Middle class taxes in a country like Finland is going to be higher than the middle class taxes, the tax burden in a country like the United States of America. They make all healthcare nonprofits. Man, nonprofits fucking suck too. Anyway, we'll talk about Andrew Tate in a second. Uh, this is a funny Jabuki tweet, but, uh, where the fuck were we? Let's get back to Finland. Okay. Let's get back to Finland. Ultimately though, remember, uh, you know, you get what you pay for, but in America, you don't get what you fucking pay for. In America, you pay taxes. Your, your, uh, your, your effective tax rate is still relatively high for as little as you get back in return. You get no return on investment for your taxes, pretty much. And that's part of the reason why a lot of people have resentment towards the IRS. That's part of the reason why a lot of people have resentment towards the government. And that's why a lot of people want to starve the government. That's why reactionary ideology sets in a country like this that is consistently benefiting the Republican Party because the Republican Party is slanted towards uh, destroying the federal government and lowering your fucking taxes. But they're not actually lowering your fucking taxes. They're lowering the tax of the wealthy. They're lowering the tax of the corporations. And a lot of you dummies literally keep paying a significantly higher percentage of your yearly earnings back in the form of taxes while the wealthy get away with it. That's why they don't even need to use fucking tax shelters in this country because the tax shelters are built into our structure. Anyway, um, I wish there was a better way to... I wish it was a better way to calculate the true cost of the American experience you know, by adding all this other extra shit that you have to pay for. Okay? Like uh, like uh, uh, kindergarten or, or a daycare. You know what I mean? Shit that like parents have to pay for that you would otherwise uh, get from the government. You know what I mean? The government's not offering an adequate uh, way of, of, uh, of, of you know, providing a solution. Education. That's a fucking tax. Healthcare, obviously, is the biggest fucking tax. Gas prices and, like, paying for your vehicle that you would normally be able to undercut dramatically by taking advantage of, uh, taking advantage of publicly funded, adequate, uh, adequate public transit. That is a tax. You're paying a fucking tax without realizing that you're paying a fucking tax. That's what people do not understand. That's what people refuse to fucking comprehend. Okay? Anyway, while, while in an ambulance, a 23-year-old man called his mom, explained what had happened to him, and said he was feeling okay, a lawsuit says. Hours later, he was found dead at a Yale hospital. The man had ingested white powder he, that he suspected had been laced with fentanyl, the suit, the suit states. He was walking, talking alert, after care from firefighters, but was taken to the hospital to prevent toxicity recurrence. In a hospital security video footage, the man appears to fall asleep and multiple emergency personnel walk by him but don't check in on him. A nurse then checks in on the man for the first time in seven hours. At this point, the suit states he has no pulse, his skin is blue-gray color, and his pupils are fixed and dilated. My last conversation with Billy, he said everything was going to be okay and he would see me tomorrow, but tomorrow has never come for us, his mother said. Sad. Okay, um, but going back to Finland, if you want to actually fucking create controversy, I think this was a fucking horrible take. Finnish Prime Minister Marin Sanna says, it's not right that at the same time as Russia is waging an aggressive, brutal war of aggression in Europe, Russians can live a normal life, travel in Europe, be tourists, it's not right. And she's advocating to, like, fucking uh, take away visas from, like, regular Russian citizens, which I think is fucking ridiculous. Uh, you know what my takes are on this. I think that's a horrible idea. It's a ridiculous idea. I don't agree with it. 
And I think it's really fucking dumb. What the fuck do the average, what does the average Russian person who, especially if they're like leaving the fucking country, if they're not the Gopniks that actually do love exactly what Vladimir Putin is doing, and those motherfuckers are not leaving the country, what the fuck do the Russians overseas have to do with the, with the uh, actions that uh, Vladimir Putin is taking on his own personal fucking time and on his own person, uh, uh, operating on his own personal interest? You said tourists, not residents, and regardless. Objectively, it is unfair to innocence, but possible advantage of political pressure to Putin. Just wondering. No, dude, that shit doesn't work. Russians who leave don't support Putin is a huge assumption. Yeah, except what you're failing to consider is that, it, first of all, it doesn't even fucking matter. Because when you do that, you are inevitably saying like, oh, Russians who don't support Putin cannot leave the country. Russians who don't support Putin cannot leave the country because maybe some Russians who support Putin can Okay. It's so weird, but I guess it, it's like everyone's whipping boy. If you want to remain populist, the adequate people you can attack are like obviously Russia. And it's not enough that you're shitting on Russia because, you know, everyone's shit on Russia for understandable reasons. The Russian government, that is. But then you have to shit on the Russian citizens, too, which have fucking literally no say over what happens in Russia regardless. It is the best way to try to, you know, it's the best way to try and fucking uh, uh, instill some kind of uh, populist rhetoric. Are the same logic American can never leave their own country because of all their war crimes? I mean, yeah, literally. Yeah, let's just, dude, let's just put all the Russians in internment camps. Why aren't we doing that? We did that before here in America with the Japanese. Why don't we do that with the fucking Russians? We don't know. We don't know any better. Who knows? What if a Russian person might be loyal to Vladimir Putin? Ooh, you don't know that. Yeah, let's just do that. Concentration camps for all Russians, right? Great. Great. That's crazy, dude. Yeah, let's do, let's bring back like a blood quantum too, like just to figure out exactly what percentage Russian you are. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, let's isolate Russia further. I can already see your stream on Russian state news. Because a lot of Russian tourists start shit in Europe. Wait, what? Don't try to fucking justify this racist bullshit, dude. It's because a lot of Russian tourists start shit in Europe and think it's okay to make jokes about the horrors in Ukraine. Man, shut the fuck up. You are literally doing the exact same thing that racist people do about locking up uh, undocumented immigrants. Like, oh, well, undocumented immigrants don't know how to act right. Like, we should just lock all of them. Yeah, because taking away a tourist visa is a crime against humanity. No, it is a starting point for unironic crimes against humanity. The same energy of justifying uh, a, a... Dude, what, what, what's going on? Do you guys just like fail to comprehend that this is no different than the Muslim ban? You're basically saying we're just going to do a Russian ban. Is it okay when you're doing a Russian ban? Is it because they deserve it? Like what's going on? Random fucking Russian people deserve it? Do you not know a single Russian person? Do you not know one Russian person that you that you've talked to that is like this fucking sucks? Now I, I had Nadia on. A lot of leftists say she worked with the State Department, which she did, by the way. She's anti-Russia. She literally went to fucking jail multiple times for protesting uh, uh, Vladimir Putin. What's going on? Wait, is it, is it all right? She should just be purged from this country, right? EU racism is different. Yeah, it's awesome. It's great. But then again, we this is a uh, you know a largely predominantly American audience. Of course, they want to fucking. Uh, of course, that's the first thing that they're gonna do. They're gonna hit the fucking. What about going after Russian oligarch assets who actually materially support the regime? Bitch, you think I give a fuck about that? That's awesome. Do that. Are you dumb? When have I? I don't have an issue with that at all. Yeah, take all their asses, regardless. Take it regardless. Take it for fun. That's so stupid.
Libs love to say how much they hate Trump and how racist the Muslim ban was and want to do that to Russians. Yeah, literally. You forget that Libs are the same people that supported the Iraq war. Anyway, that's a, that's a bad, uh, I think that that's a bad take. Um, my U.S. friend is married to a Russian. They fled the country before the war. This would send them back to Russia, which is fucking stupid. Nah, dude. Nah, sorry. Tell your friend's uh, husband or wife that they, they need to suck it up and go the fuck back to Russia. Isn't it xenophobia, not racism? They're white? Okay, xenophobia, whatever. It's bigotry, okay? Like, there's fucking Russians in this chat right now. You know what I mean? Nah, fuck you guys, right? Fuck them. Don't do any mixing with them either. Don't, don't, don't be in the same rooms with them. You never know. They might actually sneak in some Vladimir Putin propaganda. So dumb. This is the difference though. Like I'm fucking Turkish. So I completely understand the resentment that a foreign government can have over you for the actions that your fucking government that you oppose is taking regularly. Americans also can comprehend that if they think about it a little bit further, unless they benefit from living in the imperial core and deep down inside truly don't resent their government for fucking lasering brown children overseas. You know? And it's not like you ever have to consider that. It's not like you ever have to carry that with you anywhere you go. The most you can do is claim you're Canadian when you go to Europe with your American passport, you fucking Amerifat pieces of shit. That's it. Oh, I'm not American. I'm Canadian. Please don't get mad at me. Right? You're good. Never ask a European what their opinion is on the Roma people. They like to think they're above USA style racism and xenophobia, but in many ways they're, uh, they're worse. I mean, yeah, that too. But anyway. I mean, that is also, this is also a very obvious fucking uh, hypocrisy too. Oh, this is Russian propaganda probably though. I mean, oh my God. I love how Russian athletes are supposed to answer questions about their country's war in Ukraine, but American athletes are never asked about their country's many invasions. Yes, because those are justifiable. Why are they justifiable? Because the America did it. When America does that, it's okay. When Russia does it, it's not. So much so that whenever I talk about like Russia's unjustifiable uh, invasion of Ukraine, which I've made very clear is the most idiotic, inhumane bullshit that you can conduct, okay? That you can engage in. If I compare it to America, a lot of Americans' brains break. They're like, what? Why are you? That's what aboutism. Because they're conditioned into thinking America's invasions are good <laughs> and Russia's invasion is bad, but America's invasions are good. When I'm comparing it to America, I'm comparing it to the worst thing you can do, motherfucker. But they don't even understand that. I think it also has to do with where Russia invaded. Russia invaded a white country. U.S. only drones and kills little brown kids, not babushkas in Ukraine making dumplings. That too. That plays a role in it. For sure. Um, <laughs> if that's true, then why isn't Russia bringing democracy? Yeah, it's really fucked up. You know, like we did in, in Iraq and Afghanistan. I love that America brought in democracy to every country that it's invaded famously. America literally absorbed the upper echelon of Nazi commanders and scientists. I mean, yeah, that's, that's whatever. That's, uh, that's just par for the course. Then they're like, just ban the tourist visas and don't get that. A lot of old people, a lot of people use the tourist visas to get the fuck out of Russia and see what they can do from there. That too. You find lots of Russians don't even like Russia? Yeah, because you're talking to Russians that are not in Russia. The Russians that are usually able to leave Russia, just like the Turkish people that are able to leave Turkey, are not going to be too fond of their government. You know? And yes, Schadenfreude, another person who is not American is correct on this also it doesn't even matter if the russians who move here are putin supporters they literally have no power within their country let alone in america or europe exactly 
That's besides the point, though, because right now you're not going to be you're not going to win a lot of favors in a fucking crowd like this when you even mention that, like, uh, the the pro Putin people are are also completely uh, removed from any semblance of power because they hear pro Putin and they fucking lose their minds. Anyway. Okay, the only Russian who unironic, uh, I know unironically listens to Jordan Peterson. I think that's a good enough reason to jail all Russians. That's real. Most Cubans hate the Cuban government energy. Well, it's a little bit more complicated than that, isn't it? It's a little bit more complicated than that. I hate the Turkish government. I still prefer the Turkish government uh, to a American puppet government. I still would prefer... When stuck between a rock and a hard place, I would prefer Erdogan to maintain his regime rather than have Fethullah Gülen in a position of power. And even all of the anti-Erdogan Turks in the chat that are in Turkey right now, or even all the anti-Erdogan Turks uh, in general worldwide would probably say the same thing. Do you understand? It is a little bit more nuanced than, than uh, black and white. But it is, of course, impossible to comprehend if you never have to think about these things because you don't have to think about these things because you're in America. America has never been under attack in a similar capacity. America has never had to think about what it would be like for a larger superpower to meddle in its affairs in a way that can actually change the dynamic within your country. America is not at constant uh, threat of like a color revolution backed by another country's, uh, you know, clandestine operations. America is not at threat that like other countries are going to collectively decide to shut America out from the global marketplace. So there you go. You will never be able to understand this. You will never be able to comprehend it. So all I'm asking you is to take a breather and try to comprehend what it's like, uh, what it could be like when you're like, okay, you know, maybe, maybe things are a little bit different in other countries than the United States of America or in Western nations in general. Of course, I have a, a, a predominantly English-speaking audience, so it is really difficult because either you're from Australia, England, or the United States of America, or in some instances like Germany and shit, so, and Canada. So you're not going to see this. You're, you, are, you are super far removed from that kind of threat. You're super far removed from America doing America shit to you. It's never going to happen. It's completely outside of the bounds of reason for you. Yeah, New Zealand as well. Sorry. All right. Honestly, it seems like Turkey is a huge issue with their policy, but seeing it from Greece, where I'm from, I can't tell if it's worse than being in a nation that really, really doesn't have autonomy. Yeah. Okay. So that's why I said what I said about Zanna uh, claiming that it's good to fucking take passports away from like Russian tourists or whatever and like shut Russians out from uh, the rest of the world.